June 9th, 2009. From New York, this is Media Bytes, brought to you by ZOPro.com, home of the Shelley Palmer online and DVD skills courses. Want to learn the best tips and techniques for the most popular apps? Visit ZOPro.com. I'm Shelley Palmer with today's top stories in technology, media, and entertainment. First up, this Friday is June 12, 2009. And unless something very strange happens, it's the day that television stations all across America will stop broadcasting analog television signals. Many people call this date the switch to digital television. But in almost every major market, television stations have been broadcasting digital signals for quite some time. For most consumers, this is going to be a lot like Y2K, a non-event. There are some estimates out there that say about 3 million households will lose their television reception. That's probably low, but I'm sure they won't be without TV for too long. They'll just need a $40 converter box or a digital TV with a digitally optimized antenna. Of course, it'll also help if the bulk of this group is not living in a city with very tall buildings, because multipath interference that creates ghosted images on analog television receivers creates the blue screen of death on digital television receivers. But that's not really the point. As a practical matter, the transition to digital television offers no benefit for television consumers. However, freeing up the analog spectrum that analog television used to occupy will put us squarely in the super digital age, which will benefit absolutely everyone. Verizon and AT&T have already started work on their 4G networks. How will local television stations use their new extra digital spectrum? How will our connected world evolve as the war between companies who want to sell you bits evolves? The answer to these and other questions starts this Friday, June 12, 2009. Stay tuned. From for more information, friend me on Facebook, find me on LinkedIn, follow me on Twitter, or visit ShellyPalmer.com. For Media Bites, I'm Shelly Palmer.